What it do, y'all? Your boy D Money DMG back with another exclusive video. This video right here is gonna be talking about Lot and his daughters. According to the Old Testament in your holy Bible. So, let's get straight to the story. So, I'm chilling right now. You know, just uh, winding down at the end of the night, you know what I'm saying, or early in the morning, whatever you want to say. So, I'm watching Sonetter TV. That's the holy mecca of the conscious community. Subscribe to Black News 102 and Sa S A N E T E R TV on YouTube. Sa Netter TV. Been watching him for the past like five to six, seven years. He bring that raw conscious shit, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, pertaining to everything that goes on in, you know, the, the, the conscious community, the black conscious community, and, you know, all of that. You know, Brother Polite and you know, Umar Johnson, all of that. Whatever, whatever. So now, back to this subject of what this video is about. So in a, according to the Bible, and I used to go hard with the Bible back in the days and, uh, you know, and, and thought every story was literal and it was real. You know what I mean? And these stories actually happen. I mean, it's possible that it could have happened and it's possible that it could have just been a story. So let's get into it. So Lot, you know, um, you know, it was the city that was called Sodom and Gomorrah, according to the Bible. And Sodom and Gomorrah was a wicked ass city. And according to, you know, the story, it was a lot of homosexuality going on. It was a lot of fornication going on. People having sex and they're not married. It was a lot of adultery going on. It was a lot of drunkenness and drunkards and all of that stuff going on or whatever in this in particular city in Jerusalem or in Saudi Arabia somewhere over there in the Middle East or whatever according to the story so anyways Lot you know and his wife you know uh, God told Lot you know what I'm saying look man all of this shit is going to go on I need for you to flee out the city with your wife and your kids and your daughters and I think pretty much his family or whatever. And I do not want you to look back at what, you know, is going to have what's going to go on and the destruction of this city. Just look forward and do not look back. And what happened was is that the nigga Lot's wife, you know, all of them was running forward and she just happened to look back. Boom. And she turned into a pillar of salt. She turned into salt. So then time go past. Lot and his daughters, I guess it was only his daughters that was left with him. And I don't know if he had sons or not or whatever. But anyway, so Lot goes up into some mountains or whatever and live in some caves with his daughter. Daughters. And his daughters is like, you know what? There's no one in this city around. Let's get our dad drunk with wine. And then, you know, we will smash his ass. And then, you know, we will have more siblings and stuff like that. We all know what happens when daughters and fathers have intercourse, right? Fathers and daughters have intercourse. The child will come out inbred, retarded, stupid, and whatever else. Look it up on the internet. Do your Google research. We all know this by not even doing all of that. But if you have to, go ahead by any means necessary, right? So, to get a little deeper into this 
story according to the Bible, right? Let me hit this one time for you. Or one time for me. It's not THC. It's just tobacco. So anyways, right? Back to the story. They say, Lot's daughters say, let's get our dad drunk with wine and smash him and then we will have more siblings in our vicinity, right? It's a few things that doesn't really make sense according to the story. According to the Bible. For one. I don't give a fuck. Right. How much wine I drink. How much beer I drink. How much vodka I drink. How much hard liquor I drink. There's no way I'm going to get drunk with my daughters I only have one daughter and she's underage right now at the time but even if I had grown as daughters right now in 2021 there's no fucking way I could get drunk with them and they or they can get me drunk according to the Bible according to the New Testament or the Old Testament they got their dad drunk in a fucking mountain and a cave and got him erected as his penis and his phallus erected hard enough to be able to smash them in their vaginas. Okay, let's get graphic here because the Bible don't want to get graphic in certain areas, but sometimes it do. Both of the daughters, it may be have it may have been more than two, but I think according to the story, it was just two daughters. Lot got so wasted that he was able to get erected and to penetrate and to come in his own daughters. That doesn't even make fucking scientifical. Scientists, it, 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 it's rare for a man to be super wasted under alcohol beverages and to get erected and to come ejaculate into a woman. There has been times where my woman has wanted to have sex with me under alcohol and I have. I did I'm talking about under like like four beers. Sometimes it's been a tall can, sometimes it has not been a tall can, but my point is is that it has not been under a lot of alcohol beverages where I have not been able to get to get erected, to get hard, let's keep it real, and let alone to be able to get in the mood under any circumstances. I did not even want to have sex with my wife. So you're telling me, according to this Bible story, that two of Lot's daughters got him drunk under wine and under the influence to where he was so fucked up that he was even able to get hard and erected and ejaculate? Please make that make sense. A nigga named Lot let his daughters get him under the influence of so much alcohol that he was able to get erected. You know how hard it is for a lot of men. I'm not saying everybody. Okay. 
not everybody, but for a large portion of men to get so wasted under alcohol to get erected. It's hard to even get erected sometimes. And you can just Google this shit. And he even got to the point where he even ejaculated in his own daughters. There's no fucking way this individual was that fucking drunk and didn't know it was his daughter's. And then he got erected. Then he ejaculated in his daughters and had kids by his own daughters. Come on, y'all. Come on, somebody. A lot. You know goddamn well, according to the Bible... You didn't get under the influence and didn't know, oh, my daughter drugged me and uh, my daughter's put some mollies in my drink and I, I was drunk off a of beer. I was drunk off a of wine and all this stuff or whatever and all of that stuff. And you didn't know what was going on. Nah, bro. That's just an excuse to have sex with your own daughters. And it was incest. So <clears throat> not to be rude. And not to be disrespectful, but it's possible that this story about Lot was all about incest from the jump, according to European white people. And they try to use being under the influence of alcohol to justify the story of him having sex and having kids of inbred incest with his own daughters. Is it possible? Is it possible, y'all? I want y'all to drop the comments in the, in, in, in the comment section and let me know. Lot. Did you use this story in the Bible and according to the Bible... As a story to say that, you know, you got drunk and under the influence by your daughters and you got, you know, you got drugged and all of that by your daughters to be able to have this intercourse and fucked up situation to justify this story because there's no way in the world a lot of us men can say the reason why I impregnated my daughter in 2021 where we are is because my daughter daughters plural got me under the influence and I smashed them and got them pregnant and they had my kid as their father. Till next time. Be a boy D Money DMG. Peace.